Hi, this video is going to be pretty off the cuff, uh, mostly because I want to try to get it done. It's still Sunday, and uh, written response, script response would take a bit too long. Um, it's a response to a very interesting PM I received a little while ago, and uh, it is very interesting. And I'm going to read off the PM, and then I'm going to try to address the issues. Because I think at the end of the day, uh, I was going to get around to talking about some of these things anyway. So I might as well uh, read off the, uh, what the gentleman wrote to me in the PM. Uh, quote, after watching some of your videos, I feel myself being pried away from my traditionalist view of the way of the world should be. The type of people I usually look for uh, answers is the whole ultra far right, proto, fascist, might makes right, Nietzschean ilk found at places like in uh, Malified and Counter Currents Publishing. Not really familiar with that, but anyway. Barbarossa pointed out how inherently fragile the family unit is. Women bailed the second they had a chance. Therefore, this is not the most stable, healthy environment to raise children in. The family unit cannot be maintained. Women, uh, mean, the family unit cannot be maintained. Women, men reasserting patriarchal control. Women, that's a bit discombobulated, the writing. Uh, the family unit cannot be maintained. Women, men reasserting patriarchal control of women. And this will be unbelievably difficult, um, considering the role modern technology, uh, brackets, reproductive, and otherwise has played in their liberation. Uh, patriarchy might not be possible without having to wind back the clock of technological progress. So the only other option is to look for a technology to liberate men just as it did women. I get that. But any technology that would have any significant effect, such as the artificial womb, is decades and decades away at a minimum. The question is, what the fuck are we supposed to do till then? If society can even hold that long, then it's quite optimistic to think the next uh, Albert Einstein or Nikola Tesla will be produced in a society consisting largely of women giving birth to bastards spawned only by alpha thugs, PUAs, and sperm banks. But the family unit is the foundation stone of civilization that cannot be denied. Despite all its flaws, it has been the most stable and just institution to regulate sexuality. Debatable. One of the only historical alternatives has been polygamy, which excludes huge numbers of men, uh, which must be sub subsequently kept in line either through despotism, constant warfare, or a combination of both. The other is single mother, uh, who had slept them uh, with only the top tier alpha males procreating, no real male investment in society, therefore material and technological processes absent in disorder, chaos, poverty, and violence are the order of the day. To my knowledge, no other system has ever existed in human history. Whilst you offer men alternatives to marriage on an individual level, you have yet to offer a viable blueprint of a post-family unit society that might hypothetically exist in the future. I'm fine with men abandoning women and children, starving the beast of the state as the strategy to hasten the collapse of the system, but how exactly can we build a healthy society afterwards if men don't reestablish a patriarchal nuclear family structure? None of you have actually managed to outline how this could possibly be done, I'd love to hear one because at this point it's, it's simply nothing more than utopianism. Not saying it shouldn't be ever attempted, but how would you see something which has never been attempted uh, in history? I don't see quote unquote society as I define it as being possibly without men being highly invested in its protection and advancement. Men, uh, capital letters, will not invest in a society that doesn't afford them the reliable opportunity to satisfy their deepest biological needs, to fuck and procreate with women. The nuclear family, who rigidly enforce sexual mores, provide most men with this opportunity. Polygamy, single mo mother, sluttum, do not. Do you foresee the artificial woman combination with widespread legalized prostitution as something that might take uh, take care of the problem? Here it's absent. I don't think it will. Pers I don't think it will personally, because the primal need to bond, commit, and procreate with one woman, or at least many women, in a serial and monogamous way, whilst fucking other women on the side, is far too strong. Uh, but I'd love to hear your views. Also, how can such a society where the nuclear family is not the norm successfully raise emotionally healthy children and productive members of society? We can see what basket cases the children of both single mothers and divorce are. How could we ensure that the products of the artificial womb aren't the same? Or do you foresee a way to make sure that even such children manage to grow up uh, receiving equal investment from both their mothers and fathers? Listen, sorry to make this so long, but I hope you get my point. Male liberation, this is something completely new, and I just think it's silly to promote such a thing without giving a long, detailed explanation about how any other alternative could possibly succeed, what such a society would be like, what its moral principles and laws or back thereof would be, 
And how do you plan to overcome our own biological short, shortcomings, which propel us to keep repeating the same behaviors again and again? We haven't done this yet, neither has Barbarossa or any other radical uh, MGTOW types, men, men going their own way types. Please do explanation mark. Whew, that is a lot. Um, so, uh, I was going to get around to answering these kinds of questions anyway. Now, one thing we see from this uh, PM is this this need, I think it's a human need, for uh, one-size-fits-all solutions to everything. Um, now, let me, there are a lot of things I need to cover. This might be a bit longish. Uh, let me say, speak for myself, that I, I don't think I've ever uh, claimed to be omni omniscient. I don't have all the answers. At the end of the day, I'm just a guy making videos with some ideas. People are free to listen to those, those ideas or not, and heed them or not. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm just a guy making uh, YouTube videos. I have repeatedly said, and I'll say it again, that I, men go in their own way, MGTOW, that, that is an individual solution. And as much as one we might talk about uh, the future and what might happen in the future, uh, it's a long way off. And so it is an individual solution. The concerns of this gentleman seem rooted in a collectivist mindset. Um, and I think this is the root of the problem. And when we begin with a collectivist mindset, that's what ultimately leads to rigid ideologies and one shoe, shoe size fits all solutions. Um, I look at men going their own way as a, in two dimensions. One, you have the observation of female nature and behavior and its implementation on a social and political scale. And the way uh, MGTOW addresses that, which I would describe as a macrocosmic solution. And then the whole other range of things in an individual man's life which have to be solved on, on a micro level. They're, they're, they are there are solutions that exist to, to whatever problems an individual man might have, and those are microcosmic in nature. Um, MGTOW, I mean, going our way, just means you're not going towing the line with the traditional relationship uh, nonsense. It doesn't really mean much beyond that. And I think whilst there's some tendencies politically and what have you uh, in, in, in a man who chooses to go his own way, we're all different. Uh, some men going their own way might enjoy playing golf or going fishing. I like making computer game strategy guides and, and so on and so forth. So uh, there's going to be a lot of variation. I'm not a cult leader. Uh, I've never claimed to be a cult leader despite, um, despite accusations that I in fact just that. Um, I don't have I don't present and I'm not going to offer one size uh, fits all solutions to everything. That's what people do say the left is evil, the right is evil kind of uh, I you know this is this is what those those kinds of people do. It always leads to and, and you can see in this in this PM the the need this gentleman uh, apparently defected from right wing fascism, okay um, but uh, this need for some sort of guidance. Um, part of being an adult has nothing to do with man being a man going your own way, is to live when you've peeled back the, the veil of, of nonsense, is to realize that you live in an incredibly complex world uh, with myriad different solutions, possible solutions that may or may not be solutions, uh, and it's very easy to get lost in all of this, in the, in the, the sea of chaos, as it were. Um, this has nothing to do with men going their own way, but I'll, I'll get to that in a second, how it is linked to that. And so, as an individual, you're, you're standing in, uh, really at the precipice of the abyss. It's just this huge place, the universe. You're just a lone individual, and uh, there's really nothing, there aren't, if you've actually looked at the way things are, there aren't, uh, there aren't really one-size-fits-all solutions to a lot of things in life. So, it's up to you, as an individual, male or female, to consider, reflect, and think about things on the individual level for you as an individual. Um, we all come from different backgrounds, from different countries, from uh, different different ages, different uh, different generations, and so that reflects uh, itself in, in how we are. And so you have to think of that on, on, on a unique individual level. Um, so I, I've never uh, advocated or claimed to have a a solution for the entirety of humanity, and I think it's incredibly arrogant to claim that. No one, no one advocating men, men going their own way ideas has, has said, this is the solution for all of humanity, and it's not our obligation to do so. 
this is collectivist mindset thinking looking uh, that leads to demagoguery and, and cult, cultist, uh, cultist, cult figures who pro proclaim and claim to have all the answers to everything. I don't have all the answers to everything. I'm just a guy making videos. I've laid out the evidence to support some of my ideas, and people, as I said, are free to listen to those ideas or not. But um, I'm not going to say this is the way it needs to be done. Uh, but it, I want to really stress how important this is that we see in this in this PM that this this gentleman is trapped in a collectivist mindset that he might have defected from one set of collect collectivist principles and so he's looking for the next set uh, a, a a a guideline a one size fits all solution to all of the problems um, look at the end of the day as I've said many times men go in their own way that is an individual solution for the present. Uh, it is a solution for men who realize just how difficult the situation is um, as a man in, in the current state of affairs. Uh, you're right, artificial womb technology, while it's interesting, inter interesting to speculate on, uh, it's, uh, it's decades off. And I've also, I think that was a misinterpretation of what I, what I, when I made reference to Einstein and Tesla. Um, these are just examples of the possibility that men can move past uh, what seems to be the um, the overwhelming trend in, in, in maildom, in men in general, uh, that you can devote your time and attention to other things and procreation um, and uh, DNA propagation. The end of the, we simply don't know what's going to happen with all of this. Uh, I will say, however, um, unfortunately, that it's most likely that this whole feministic cycle is, is uh, perennial, cyclical, as Barbarossa suggested. And I think, well, we probably will end up going back to some form of it. Um, I don't know when, and I'm not going to make predictions as to when. But If you need to find one-size-fits-all solutions to the entire pro entirety of society's problems, uh, if that's what you think, and you think one individual person can offer you those solutions, I assure you, sir, you're sorely mistaken. Um, this, this, the, this is the essence of demagoguery. This is what gave, ro uh, gave rise to fascism, fascistic movements, and all sorts of things. Religious, political, ide rigid re religious and political ideology, looking for simple solutions to complex problems, and problems that really have so many facets that one solution, even if it were viable, is only going to cover a tenth of it all. Uh, it's not going to work that way. What men going their own way is, it's men who just choose to, to reject uh, relationships. I think, you, as Eugene pointed out, you can fuck as many women as you want, or you can lead a chaste life. There's a lot of variation within that, uh, within that paradigm. It's, not, it's going to be quite varied. You see... I mean, the, the man, this gentleman is demanding uh, radical, I mean, blah, 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 I haven't done this yet. Uh, sir, with all due respect, you need to think for yourself. That's part of what being an adult is. It's, it's learning to think for yourself. It's learning to make decisions for yourself without, without necessary, uh, necessarily with the guidance of some sort of uh, omni- omniscient, omnipresent uh, figurehead giving, giving you, uh, telling you what to do. Um, we're moving past that. Part of the struggle, of course, as a man going your own way, is not only do you have the, 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 the chaos of the abyss that every individual has as an adult, but it's often suppressed through ideology and and acceptance of social norms, but you also have something something else. I mean, you've rejected what so many people adhere to almost on an instinctual level. That opens up a whole new can of, of worms. But let me say for the record that from, from my part, uh, I'm not offering a, a society-wide solution. Um, and people who claim to have the solution to everything, you should be very wary of them. As I said, these are the roots of rigid, dangerous uh, political, religious ideologies that can that have led to the destruction of millions of human beings. Um, you know, 
that's what happened with Nazi fascism, among other things. Uh, we, it's very dangerous to think along these lines. Um, you're never going to find a one-size-fits-all solution to everything. But there is something known as human nature, and so it does seem likely that eventually the cyclical will end up in something similar to what we've been experiencing uh, the past few millennia. In the meantime, and going our own way, uh, we're offering present-day solutions of, of dealing with the problems. Um, all futuristic predictions um, notwithstanding, there's only so much we don't ultimately know exactly what's going to happen. And so uh, I, I don't see it as my obligation. And I, I would never, never uh, take it upon myself just to, to prescribe to people how how they should live and what they should be doing with their lives. That is the, that, that is what, for example, people on the left and the right do. You know? I think part of what MGTOW is, is having neither proscriptions against what you should be or should not be doing and prescriptions what you should be doing. Uh, neither proscriptions nor prescriptions. That's what it's about uh, at the end of the day. You do need to stand stark naked in the face of reality and, and deal with things on your with your own thoughts and try to come to uh, conclusions on your own. I ideas are, are out there. Um, there are plenty of them. I have my own ideas. We all have our ideas. But I, I, I don't have all the solutions, and I never claim to. Um, you, need to so you need to overcome this deep need for collectivist guidance in the form of uh, one shoe fits all. It, it's very dangerous. It's not going to work. Um, and if you re can recognize the fallacy, say, of subscribing to proto-fascist ultra-right thinking, then looking for an alternative to that uh, in some similar form or something that, where you get all, all, all the answers is, uh, is probably the wrong path. Um, things are just a lot more complicated than, than people like make them out to be. And as I said, particularly on a microcosmic level, uh, men going their own way is a recognition of female nature and what men, individual men do as a reaction to that. That's the macro level, but the micro level is what you do as an individual. Um, a man going his own way in a different cultural system might have a very different perspective and a uh, set of reactions to what's going on in his culture uh, versus uh, what's going on to an American man or uh, vice, vice versa. Uh, it, it's, there, there's too much diversity to say this is the way it's going, going to be done. We can make our observations which are supported by evidence, and, but yeah, I, I'm not optimistic. I'm not going to lie about that. I think eventually we probably will fall back into some sort of patriarchal system of provider workforce for the women, something along those lines. We see this with uh, a lot of these traditionalists jumping on the bandwagon, and uh, I think that should be resisted to the extent that it can be. But um, we also see how easily men will just fall on their knees in self-abasement when a female offers him praise. Um, this is part of the, the unfortunate deep mother male need, this need for female approval. Um, and you're right, many men will not be able to think past that. Um, but I think the single statement I'd like to make in response to all of this, or the series of statements to summarize it all, is that you're not going to find for extremely complex individual problems uh, one, one size fits all solutions. Um, as I said, part of being an adult, not just my man going your own way, of whatever gender, sex, is realizing the world is a fucking big, complicated place, and you're just a small, uh, an infinitesimally small part of it, and you need to figure out how, how you're going to fit into it all, or if you fit into it all at all. I mean, that's another issue. Um, if you look for solutions in the form of ideologies, um, I assure you, you're, I'm pretty sure you're on the wrong course. Um, and this goes to, sh this, this, go this is equally valid for extreme left-wing ideologies um, that go on about oppression and, um, and 
rights that aren't rights and what have you, but also right-wing ideologies, um, you know, this, this back and forth. But it always leads to, uh, to potential danger. We've seen this in the 20th century. Simple, so, simple solutions to complicated problems, uh, and it, it leads ultimately to a lot of death and destruction. Um, and that's something I think we should all avoid, or want to avoid at least. So I don't have all the solutions, and, and be, all I can say is be wary of people who claim to have those solutions. Be wary of people who claim it's uh, the, all the problems in the world come from right-wing politics, and if only we had more equal distribution of wealth and blah, 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 no, 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 then be wary of that. But be wary of, of uh, people who go on of, about a jingoistic patriotism and the need to defeat the left and how Marx, once Marxism is defeated, every, a, a golden age will be ushered in. Um, th this is the kind of thinking that we all need to avoid. So if, you, if you're a former member of the fascistic right, um, then... You shouldn't be looking for a replacement for that. You see what I'm saying? Don't look for a replacement to it. Uh, for it, look look for your own individual solutions. Stand naked in the face of reality. Accept that you were infinitesimally small, perhaps even insignificant, and in spite of that, find value in yourself and in those you choose to attribute value to. That's how I live my life. Um, it's not a perfect model. I'm not always content, but usually I'm fairly content. Um, and that's all I really have to say on that. Uh, one size fits all solutions. Very, very dangerous. Because we all come from different backgrounds. There's too much diversity. Um, I, I can't, I'm, I'm not going, and I refuse to offer uh, a single solution to the, the whole of society's ills and problems. What I can do, and what I, what's important to me, the purpose of my channel, to the extent that I can, is to, to open up discussion, offer ideas, uh, help men. Uh, I'm always willing to listen to, 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 to men's problems uh, as men go in their own way. A lot of men struggle. And that's what it's all about. It's about offering ideas, exchanging ideas, helping men. It, it's not about, my channel at the very least is not about uh, proscribing or prescribing behavioral formulas. And I have no interest in that. I don't, I'm not a cult leader. I don't want to tell people what, they're, what they do. That's anathema to me. Um, above all, I value individual freedom. So you certainly need to find out what's best for you as an individual and stop worrying about what's to come in 100 or 200 years. You'll be dead, and I'll be dead by then anyway. But I, I would strongly urge you, really, Try to move outside of the paradigm of collectivist one-size-fits-all solutions. It's very dangerous. Don't look for the alternative to right-wing fascism in the form of some other radical ideology. Move away from that. As I said, stand, st uh, stand naked and, and, and start naked in the face of reality and accept uh, that it is a big, big world out there and you're not going to have a solution just thrown at you, and it's not going to solve all your problems. Um, and when you die, and when I die, we're still not going to understand everything. Accept that. Accept your limitations. If you can accept those limitations, then I think you're on the right path. And you're on a path of, that, will, that will lead to a legitimate form of contentment, one that's not illusory and one that will not deceive you. And beyond that... I can't say very much, but uh, I do appreciate your PM, and I hope you find your way.